When you set a domino on its end, you're giving it potential energy because it can fall. Ooh, and when you put two dominoes together, you can start a chain reaction because that one will fall into that one. Ah, but it's a lot more fun with more dominoes. Setting up a run of dominoes is a lot of fun, but it takes a flat surface and a steady hand. And if you want to do it yourself, add gaps, so if one part falls, it doesn't take out the whole run. Last one. There. I had some dominoes left, but I did it. I made the Science Max logo. See? Science right? Max. Sort of. Let's see how it works. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> now it's time to max it out! Giant maxed out dominoes! Woohoo! Even though these dominoes are giant, they're still gonna work the same. They're standing up on their ends, which means they've got some potential energy. And when I give this one a push, that potential is gonna turn into kinetic energy and it's gonna knock the next one and the next one and the next one. I, I hope. We, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's find out. You ready? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Giant dominoes! Yeah, science! The problem is, when you use dominoes this big, setting them up again is a real chore. Uh.